We've all heard the talk about the left brain versus the right brain. Creative and innovative people are considered right brain thinkers, whereas analytical and logical people are considered left brain thinkers. For years, neuroscientists who are skeptical have argued against this theory. They believe that creativity is so complex that it must depend on both sides of the brain, not just one. That's where the findings of a new National Science Foundation funded brain imaging study come in. Researchers at Drexel University gave 32 jazz guitar players six songs to improvise to. You're listening to one of them right now. They recorded high-density electroencephalograms of brain activity while each musician played. Some of the players were highly experienced, while others, less so. But each musician was given the same songs to improvise to. Their performances were then played for a group of jazz musicians and teachers, and then rated based on their creativity, as well as other qualities. Next, the researchers compared EEGs recorded during highly rated performances with those recorded during ones that were considered less creative. They found greater brain activity in the left hemisphere, not the right hemisphere, which many would expect. But that was because the most experienced musicians produced the most creative improvisations. When the researchers statistically controlled for how much experience the musicians had, they found that the creativity of the performances was due to the activity in the right hemisphere. With years of experience, the brain mechanisms that enable musicians to perform creatively moved to the left hemisphere. So the contributions of the two hemispheres of the brain to musical creativity change with experience. This research was conducted using musicians, but its findings may contribute to developing methods of training people to be innovative across many fields. And in the process, it might just lead to some sweeter and smoother sounding solos.